Hey YouTube, decided to return for a second episode. We had turned off two of the generators. I'm not sure though. And in the last episode I did realize that my microphone was uh, a little bit low. Uh, so I turned it up a little bit, turned down the game sound a tiny bit. But it sounded alright, for the most part I thought. But just had to tweak it a tiny bit. Uh, I went that way. I went that way. Do I go back this way? I'm just gonna go this way to see. Cause I mean, there's really no other way to go or else I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah the... Oh no, the train's still there. So I'm not sure where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't even know if I'm supposed to be going this way. I'm just, I just heard noises. Oh no! No! Fuck! Fuck! Okay, you guys, that, um, we weren't supposed to go that way. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> okay, guys, so apparently you can get a map. <clears throat> which I did not know. On the wall in here. I didn't even see the map. It just blended in as the wall. But, yes. Very Silent Hill-esque type map like a hospital or something and I don't know are we supposed to like yeah I like this the power won't go out here I thought that maybe I was supposed to trigger some spooky scaries or something but <clears throat> looks like not find that map go in this train that's the only place I haven't been I thought that I had been here but apparently I haven't but what the fuck man I need to play video games more. Oh, is this a shotgun? Yes. I don't have any ammo. Oh, yes, I do. Yes. Now I can enjoy this game a lot more. It can't be a real horror game without a shotgun. Okay, well, not thinking about it, you can have a horror game without a shotgun, but I love having shotguns. Just saying. It's almost like a, a, a little blanket of security even though it's maybe not much okay this reticle actually seems like it helps more than the other one than the pistol pistol is kind of floating out in front of you a bit too much to to help <clears throat> let's go check this room okay Ooh, another tape we're gonna have to go back to the uh tv and what is that I don't know. It looks like a girl on the... I thought I just thought it was like a news lady. This looks like spooky, scary hallway. Like spooky, scary jump scares are gonna happen. Okay, can we go in here? Yes. Windy, windy hallways. Broken figures. Broken. Oh... Uh. Is that supposed to be blood or paint or I? Oh, what happened to my lock picks? Those lights are hanging a little bit low. Gave me a nice amount of ammo. Oh, and some more. I feel like we're about to start fighting some enemies soon. Yeah, because I just got some pistol ammo too. They're loading us up before we gotta fight these creepy things. I had to fight one earlier. I just bashed its head in. But that was just like one encounter. They're 
Having the encounters so far in between is kind of heightening the scare factor a little bit for me, though. I'm not going to lie. All right, lock picks. I can go pick that one door if I can find it. Yeah, on the on the uh, in the settings, I was looking at the FOV, and it's set to like 45, to like you know imitate like claustrophobia or something. I'm just like I'm not trying to get motion sick though. And as I was moving it, it was like you can't like it was like warning you like it might make the atmosphere a little bit worse but if you do get motion sick you should do it and the highest you can go is 60 but i i just put it at 55 the old og uh console all right failed i'm just gonna hold it it's a little bit fidgety i'm not gonna lie or maybe they just like don't work sometimes ah oh, shit all right after this we out. Come on. Let's go. Uh. What? Oh, fuck, man. Come on. Oh, my God. They locked me in there. Turned it off. They turned the lights off. These monsters are fucking with me. Fuck. I could feel it coming. Oh, what? What? It continues? Oh, shoot that motherfucker. Jesus. Oh, I like that little. Nah, I'm running. You can catch me later. Saving my fucking ammo. Jeez. I, that, those sections get my fucking heart racing. I'm not gonna lie. But there, I turned off all the fucking switches. I'm gonna go see if I can flip this switch, maybe. Or, oh, that tape. Yes, I, I, I didn't even come here thinking of it, but. Forgot about this tape. The last one had me fucking jumping, so. Yeah, these ones are fucking creepy. Jesus. Alright. Um. Let's check out these rooms. Uh, that's not it's not much of a room what the fuck is that alright that doesn't make any sense but I'm pretty sure a lot of this game doesn't make sense I'm still not even sure exactly why I'm in the subway why I'm playing these tapes Am I even in the real world? I don't know. Why are there red glowing orbs talking to me? I don't know. It's all very surreal. And fucking creepy. Oh, shit. Ugh, I could just tell something was gonna happen. I'm just waiting to get jump scared and the tape to end. But I know this game's better than that. It's gonna fucking scare me better. Oh shit. Okay, I can choose. I chose the fucking pipes. I can hear my fucking character breathing. What is that? What is going on?
I definitely don't want that to be my fate. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that was a tape of another guy trying to escape, and he clearly uh, hopped right into the wrong vent. I took a wrong turn. I can tell you that. Can I turn off this one now? And what would be... Okay. If the power goes out on the tracks, you have to reboot the whole system in order to do that. Ooh, now I think... Okay, so I can go to that fucking train now. Right? Because the power in the system has been restored. Fucking hell. Should have known it wasn't going to be that fucking easy. Oh my god. Okay, it was just a fucking hallucination. And we're back off. Fuck that part of the station. I just want to get out of this damn subway, man. But this is some... Now I know that in the next section I can try to find a map. If they have one. Oh. What's going on? I got my shotgun. I'm just saying, like... What? This is what I'm talking about. Like, is this shit even reality? Fucking glitch in the matrix? What the fuck? Just when I thought that uh, I did all that work to get home free and on my fucking route home and just to realize that it's all perception. What? So if you go up on the walls, the models disappear. <laughs> what is going on? I need an explanation. New section. What is this? Grand Bolum Avenue. Let's look at it, shall we? Oh, it's getting closer. Okay, so... This is a building next to a street, and then across the street is another building. Let's check out the room. Okay, first let's save. Okay, so that's done. Let's head into the building. Won't open, covered in some kind of slime. Yeah, it does look kind of nasty. Am I going to have to find something to remove that? Alright, let's go from here. Ooh. What the fuck just happened? Scary mirror man, what the fuck? Okay, he stopped. Oh shit! The fuck, this game is really fucking with me. Now this shit's swinging? Oh my gosh, and I can see my old charted fucking body. Oh, it's got maggots on it. What the fuck is this? Well, I guess there's no getting pat. <laughs> I got set up, bro. I got set up. Door feels hot. Oh my god. I got fucking set 
up. And then I have to fucking waste all the rest of my ammo and my shotgun on some mirror men. Is this some type of puzzle? Yes. Oh my fucking lord. Like. Okay, but now I can go through. So you were supposed to die. Fucking pussy bitch. Okay. On to this next section. It's so, like, this is definitely not cute, like, regular architecture. Like, this dude's going insane. This is not reality anymore. Something about this train unnerves me. And it's blocking the tunnel. Is it gonna fucking go? Page one, life is too hard. Life was too harsh. Love lo was lost forevermore. They hung from the ceiling fan, st staring at the floor. Who? Yo! What the fuck, bro? Like, what the fuck? Get the fuck back. What the fuck? It wasn't even a fu That thing's alive. Fuck this game. <laughs> fuck. This game. What about that one train that actually killed me? Earlier, last episode, like... What the fuck? Okay. Shotgun ammo? Let's go to that then. Even though the pistol seems like it does more, or does better. Let's go into this restroom. I feel like there might be ammo or a jump scare. This ain't no restroom. Oh, okay. It's just the, one of those. Yeah, so we got more ammo. Let's open up all these. Why that one close it that fast? There's no fucking toilet. Yeah, I see that there's someone, like, dead in there. Did that person who was writing those letters kill himself in there or something? Or am I just being... Get the fuck out of there! I did not go this way. I don't know what to write. I'm not sure if it's good or bad. I don't know if it makes me f happy or sad. I think we're going to have a child. <sighs> going through something. Is the character gone through this in his life? Like, is, is he being fucked with right now by some type of other fucking worldly entity or some shit? Ooh. No? Okay. Alright, so I went this way basically just to get ammo. But we weren't actually supposed to go this way. Now they want to start attacking me? Like, what the fuck? I, will say, I do like this game, though. I'm enjoying it. Even though I'm confused half the fucking time, I am enjoying it. I 
I'll tell you that. I do like getting scared, but it's not like all crappy jump scares. Wait, page three. Life was too harsh. Creepy hallways. Oh, my dog? Oh my god, my dog. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, didn't I grab lockpicks? Okay, yeah, this game is definitely fucking. Yep. This game is definitely making me trip balls a little bit. My god, we're finally back to the fucking first thing in the game, which is trying to find your dog. Oh no, back in the pipes. Okay, it doesn't look like it'll be that long. No. These aren't even pipes anymore. I would be so claustrophobic, I, I could never do this. I could never. This episode runs a little long. It's okay, because this game is has a lot of content, clearly. It's very creepy. Oh, shit. I feel like we're just going through what the fucking tapes. Like, we're going to just fall, and it's going to be a not, not good situation. I can tell you that. Oh, man. All right, good. We came out unscathed. We didn't fall into a whole bunch of monsters. Maybe. Who knows? This room looks a little random. We're definitely not out of danger, I can tell you that. <laughs> Fuck is going on? Fuck is going on? The fuck? I couldn't even see it. Fucking slug biting at my leg and shit. How can they hit me so, so fucking far? Oh my gosh. Creepy ass shit. I like how the enemies, like I never actually know if there's going to be an enemy coming or not. Because this game likes to have long stents where there's no enemies. Oh, just one shot? Okay. Fuck. Okay. These slugs aren't too scary, though, unlike the other monsters, which are fucking creeping me the fuck out. I'm not even gonna lie. Wonder when these log picks are gonna run out, and I'm gonna pick broken. Oh, fuck. What? Well, I mean, going by all the other logic in this game, that <laughs> doesn't exactly, shouldn't, it shouldn't surprise me. It's red. Does that mean, man, even the save rooms are starting to get less and less fucking safe. Like, look at this shit. What the fuck is that? B but anyways, to leave off on a creepier note on this episode, the last save room was so nice and peaceful. It turned so creepy. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. And maybe it'll get even creepier as we go. Who knows?
Save erased. You're fucking with me. No, I was gonna end the fucking episode. <laughs> Pull some fucking bullshit red save erased. And now I gotta keep playing the game. Broken? Oh, what the fuck, man. I gotta get out the knife. Fucking hell. I'm killing him. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. Shit. Save erased. Gotcha, bitch. Looking ass. Fuck. I don't even know if I'm supposed to kill this dude, but I, I don't see any other way. Did I die? Oh shit, I died. So how are you feeling? I feel like everyone hates me and I hate myself. Your sense of self-worth is too influenced by your body shape and weight. You don't judge others so harshly. You should have worth, you have beauty. You are unable to see it. Your vision of yourself is distorted. Then how should I fix it? If I can't fix my body, then how do I fix my vision of myself? We are working together to fix it. But I will also write you to refill your floor. It's also that's what it's this fucking drug that we're taking to cure our depression that's making us going crazy. As seen as the doctor said, I'll refill your fucking. Oh man, I don't know. That's just my theory as of episode two. Because now uh, this is clearly going to work. And now I can end the episode. So if you like the episode, you can like it. Subscribe if you want to. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to save and send you guys off.